there and welcome to this video Today we're going to take some mindful moments to practice self-care so that we're all relaxed and ready to go to bed later I prepared some essential oils, crystals and a book as well Sit back now, relax. Let's get into it. Why don't we begin by taking some deep breaths? I have my singing bowl ready, so let's do this together. Take a deep breath in now. your breath at the very top and then let it all out very nice now continue to take deep breaths breathing into the belly and the chest and then letting it all go completely Allow each and every breath to take you deeper and deeper into your body. We want to be here for tonight. Be in your body. This is really going to help you center yourself, ground yourself, and quiet your thoughts. Feel into your chest and your belly as you breathe in. And out Treat every exhale as a release, as a letting go Breathe in deserves some attention it deserves some relaxing so sink into your seat now you're safe, you're in a safe space and you're allowed to let go it's the end of the day you can let 
You can leave what you've experienced behind, let the day go, let whatever happened earlier go. Let all of that drift off, forget about your experiences today, and just be in this moment, be in your body, in your seat. And relax. The other day I received this sleep spray. It's called Stress Check Sleep Spray. It's a fast-acting vegan sleep spray with lavender and chamomile essential oils. And you're supposed to spray it on your pillowcase to help you relax. And I really like the scent. It's basically just lavender. Sometimes I spray it on my clothes because <laughs> it does the same. Now I'm going to just spray it around you and allow yourself to take in the scent of lavender. deep breaths if you like, just let it all in, the scent of lavender and chamomile. And if you don't mind, I'm gonna spray it on my sweater as well. essential oil. Let's put that on as well. So this is actually a serenity restful blend. Let's give that a shot. It has lavender, cedarwood, also has vanilla extract, sandalwood as well. dabs on my fingers now. Rub it into my fingers. Once again, take a deep breath in and just enjoy the scent of this oil. And relax. Deep breath in, breathe in the lavender, the sandalwood, the cedarwood, and vanilla. And let it out. Oh. One more time, breathe in the lavender, the cedarwood, sandalwood. And vanilla. It smells nice, doesn't it? I love the scent. Thank 
think at this point I've conditioned lavender to be that scent that makes me feel sleepy. I think anybody who uses essential oils would say the same. It's one of those scents when you smell it, you just feel sleepy. I also have another blend that uh, I used when I was doing Vipassana and whenever I smell it, I want to meditate. <laughs> It's interesting that uh, that smell has that power over us. But I hope you enjoyed the scent. Now I want to give you a crystal to just hold on to as you relax more and more. For the rest of the session, I'd like you to hold on to this crystal. This is one of my favorite crystals in my current collection. And it's always it's smoky quartz, by the way. And this is a crystal that I've always been drawn to. Whenever I go into crystal shops, this is the one that always catches my eye. And I got this one in a giveaway, actually. so. Shout out to Shaman Sisters for this beautiful giveaway and Tachyon Healing Center. It is Smoky Quartz, which is known for its ability to help you release negative energy or what we deem as negative. <laughs> Essentially, whatever you're repressing that isn't serving you anymore. Well, this crystal can help you feel inspired to let that out. To let it go and to feel so much lighter as a result. With crystals, I always like to remind people that it isn't so much of the fact that the crystal is healing you, it's rather you healing yourself because you've been inspired by the energy of the crystal, by what it represents in your psyche. You're tapped into the energy of this crystal, how it feels to you, which is why it is able to heal you. It's not healing you, you are healing you. And I think that's an important thing to remember when using any external object. So I just wanted to put that out there. It's important that you don't give your power away like this. Nothing outside of you can heal you. Only you can heal you. And with that said, I'm going to hand over the crystal to you and you can hold on to it and feel into the energy of this crystal. What does it inspire you to feel inside of you? Tap into that. You can grip it in the palm of your hand. Feel into the ruggedness of these edges of the crystal. And with that, take some deep breaths. Breathe in. And let it go. Breathe in. Keep holding on to it for the rest of our time together. It's by my friend Kim Rashidi, and this is a 
poetry book inspired by tarot cards. Every single poem in this book is about a specific tarot card and they're all in random order. So essentially what you can do then is give yourself a tarot reading by randomly flipping open a page with a poem about a specific tarot card. So let's do that for you right now. Let's pick mm, five poems. Let's go with five for now. So the first card that came forward for you is Seven of Wands. It says, guard yourself with what you have. It seems as though the evil eye may bat its lash. Naysayers attack those who do as they wish. Naysayers stand back and watch those who flourish. Naysayers try to bring you down a notch. Naysayers stay saying nay to life. Naysayers don't improve, but you have a plan and you'll move on up. Naysayers can't hold you back. Those who don't wish you well aren't well themselves. Well, that definitely sums up the Seven of Wands. Alright, now for your second card. by those around you. Your distracted what-ifs make you forget that you and yours are one and the same. Change is nothing to be afraid of. Love is nothing to shy away from. I love that. <laughs> Five of Wands is always a card of conflict and I like that there's a, a positive spin on this with the last line. Love is nothing to shy away from and change is nothing to be afraid of. Alright, now for your third card. These are very heavy cards. <laughs> So first you got the Seven of Wands, which is all about boundaries. And then you got the Five of Wands, conflict. Now you have death, which in other words is rebirth, transformation. The sun sets every day only to be reborn at the next. One new message. A carrier brings in news, a change, a rebirth. In its path remains a transition. What was has served its purpose, and what is will serve its own too. Just as the sun whispers a daily colorful adieu, so must you. Celebrate what you had, prepare for what's ahead. Beautiful. So there is a rebirth happening, a letting go. Now for your fourth card. Well, this is really positive. So we went from some negativity, some heaviness to now total lightness, fulfillment, and appreciation. You have the Ten of Cups. 
Admire the alignment you're in, whether at home, love, work, or school. Challenges were faced or are to be conquered with ultimate symmetry. So raise your class and cheers of who you are and follow yourself into opportunities that light up your life. Beautiful. Now for one more card. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this is so nice. You got the Ace of Cups. Yeah, so it really did go from a lot of heaviness to complete lightness. So we're ending with the Ace of Cups, which is one of the most beautiful cards, in my opinion, that you can receive from Tarot. Ace of Cups. You radiate who you are with such confidence that the tips of your fingers lead the trail of personality wherever they go. Give what you can and take even less. Be it love or kindness, make this connection last. Be it, new, oh, be it neural or human, take it in the palm of your hands and rest at ease knowing that you are on the right path. So it sounds like you're really going to find alignment and discover that path once you let go of the conflicted opinions that others have enforced upon you um, and that sense of conflict in relationships. There needs to be a death of that, a total letting go of that kind of narrative and paradigm for you to embrace balance, symmetry, alignment, and connection. It's beautiful. I'm excited for what's about to come for you. And on that note, I'd like you to now get ready for bed. Really relax into your body, and whenever you want to drift off, you're welcome to close your eyes, and allow yourself to sink into your bed and drift off into sleep. I'm going to play my singing bowl to help you with that. Allow the sound of the singing bowl to lure you into sleep. Really let go and drift off now.
drifting off into sleep. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Replenish you. 